tell me what you like about conference interpreting because you have a perspective of um, that this is not just interpreting in a conference. You are making a difference in global health. Tell me about your your feelings about that. Well, I I agree, of course, with all the different covenants, the covenants to the rights, economic, social, and cultural rights that uh, uh, include the right to not go hungry, the right to adequate food, the right to good care, health, the right to, to health and to medical care. There are many different ways of seeing the rights of humankind and most of them are covered by these covenants. I think that we really make a difference and when a client of mine, a medical client for example, they, let's say they're going to bring a person down to Argentina to speak on diabetes. They're going to pay for the airfare for this person, the hotel stay, all their meals, they're going to any travel expenses, the venue where they're going to speak, all the sound equipment, uh, refreshments for the audience. It's a very large expense. Mm -hmm. What they pay the interpreter is a very small part of all that. But, well, obviously if the airplane doesn't fly, the speaker's not going to get there. But if the interpreter doesn't do a good job, all that money will be spent will be thrown away. Mm -hmm. they, they will not get a return on it because the audience won't get the speaker's message. Mm -hmm. So that's an essential link in the whole chain. Mm -hmm. Interpreters are really essential. Some people who organize events don't realize how important it is to have an interpreter that's really going to turn the event into a success. Mm -hmm.